Hello students, let us continue with chapter 11, Constructions. Let's take a look at the last type of construction. That's uh, when you need to construct a triangle ABC given its perimeter. So perimeter is what? The sum of all the sides. So here it would be AB plus BC plus AC and any two base angles B and C. So angle B and C and the perimeter of the triangle is given. So how do we construct this triangle? We will take this length AB plus BC plus AC is equal to XY and we will draw it as the base. So I am taking this length AB plus BC plus AC as my length XY as the base. And I will draw the given angles B and C at points X and Y. So I am drawing these angles. So I am drawing angle MXY, MXY equal to angle B and, and I will draw NXY or NYX, sorry. And I will draw NYX equal to angle C. So this angle is equal to angle B and this angle is equal to angle C. Now I am going to bisect these angles. So how do you draw the bisector? Quick revision, you draw small arcs from X over here. Then you take these point, points here and draw arcs. Mark the point of intersection here. And I am going to bisect this angle as well. So again the same thing. This is the point of intersection of the arc. So this length here. This is the angle bisector over here. This is the angle bisector for NYX and this is the angle bisector for MXY. I'll call the point of intersection as A. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to bisect, do, draw the perpendicular bisector for AX and AY. So drawing perpendicular bisector for AX first. Right? You mark your points. And mark this point as B. And now drawing the perpendicular bisector of AY. So same way drawing the perpendicular bisector out here. Mark these points and join them. This is point C. Now I will join A to B and A to C. And my required triangle is triangle ABC. So you will see how. So let's see the proof first. Please uh, take a note of the proof because I will have to erase the section to write the construction. Now what you did is you have 
you have b lies on the perpendicular bisector of ax therefore bx is equal to da therefore this triangle abx is an isosceles triangle therefore you have this angle equal to this angle out here right and also these two sides are equal similarly here c lies on the perpendicular bisector of ay therefore ac is equal to cy and therefore this triangle acy is an isosceles triangle and you have these two angles equal to each other so let's write this much i have b lies on perpendicular bisector of ax therefore bx is equal to ba right therefore angle bxa is equal to angle bax this is through isosceles triangle theorem and also let's mark this as 1 right similarly you have c lies on perpendicular bisector of a of cy sorry ay right therefore you have cy is equal to ca therefore angle cay is equal to angle cya this is through isosceles triangle theorem let's mark this as 2 right now what you have you have xy made up of but xy is made up of xb plus or bx plus bc plus cy right so from 1 to 1 3 what do you get instead of bx you can write ba or you can also write ab right this is ab and cy is the same as ac right so this xy is equal to instead of bx i'm getting ab plus bc stays as it is plus cy is the same as ac so therefore the perimeter is xy which is the length that we have taken so ab plus bc plus ac ab plus bc plus ac is the same length as xy so the perimeter is justified now we need to show that the base angles over here that angle b and angle c are equal to angle mxy and angle nyx respectively so how do we do that now from here you have bxa is equal to bax right so bxa is equal to bax but but you have angle abc is equal to bxa plus bax correct therefore angle abc would be twice of bxa right let's write this down so the second section now angle abc is equal to angle bax plus angle bxa through exterior angle theorem right therefore angle abc is equal to angle bxa plus angle bxa why bxa and bxa from 1 therefore angle abc is equal to twice of angle bxa but twice of angle bxa is what it is mxy because ax is the bisector of mxy right but twice bxa is equal to angle mxy why because xa bisects angle mxy therefore what do you get that abc is equal to mxy so abc is equal to mxy 
right therefore angle abc is equal to angle mxy which is equal to angle b so we have justified that this angle out here is equal to this angle out here therefore this is justified similarly we can prove that angle acb is equal to angle myx so similarly we can prove that angle c is equal to angle ayx hence triangle abc is the required triangle because we have proved that xy is equal to ab plus bc plus ac right and the base angles are what is given we have initially we considered this angle mxy as the given angle b and we also considered angle nyx as the given angle c and then we constructed and using those we have drawn triangle abc such that these two angles b and mxy and c and nyx are equal to each other respectively and the perimeter of ab plus bc plus ac is equal to the length xy that's the perimeter so this was about the proof now i'm going to erase this section and we will go about writing the construction steps so your step 1 take length of perimeter of triangle abc and draw base xy is equal to perimeter of triangle abc 2 draw angle mxy equal to angle b and angle my nyx is equal to angle c right then draw draw bisector ax xa of angle mxy and bisector ay or rather draw bisectors of of angle mxy and nyx let these bisectors intersect at point a right then draw perpendicular bisector of ax and let this perpendicular bisector be pq so you can mark this as pq and this thing this one as rs right drop a perpendicular bisector of ax as pq and let it intersect xy at point b similarly drop a perpendicular bisector of ay call this as rs and let it intersect xy at point c right then join ab and ac therefore triangle abc is the required triangle
So, this is about the construction steps. Please take a look. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.